I noticed Joy Toyer releasing the Primark Rebute Gulliman again, and I don't know if this is just a reissue of the first release, or has some improvements and will be version 2, so I thought I'd post my first edition review. I know a number of uh, Joy Toy Warhammer 40,000 collectors that won't be familiar with Rebute Gilliman or who he is or what he stands for, so I'm just going to do a, a canned introduction here. During the 30th millennium, the Emperor uses the power of the warp and his own genetic material to create 20 sons, essentially demigods who will be his generals, to expand and defend humanity against alien races and other threats to mankind such as chaos forces within the warp. These were to be the primarchs of the Space Marine Legions. Genetic material from these sons would also be used to seed the Space Marines as superhuman warriors. The Chaos Gods, however, had other plans and flung the embryos far and wide across the galaxy where, isolated from the guidance of the Emperor, they would develop their own personality and physical traits influenced by the worlds they ended up on. Bobby G, as he was known to his friends, ended up on McCrack and grew up to be the console of McCrack, a skilled administrator and military genius. The Emperor learned of him because of his achievements there, arrived to reclaim his lost son, gave him command of the Ultramarines and made McCrack the forward operating base of the Ultramarines Legion. The events of the Horus Heresy are well covered elsewhere, so I won't spend time covering them, but to summarise, a number of the sons were influenced and corrupted by chaos and joined a rebellion led by the Emperor's favourite son, Horus, against the Emperor. After being cut off from the Imperium and fearing it lost, Gilliman founded the Second Imperium to be provisionally led by another Primarch, Sanguinius. He eventually rediscovered the Imperium, found that the Emperor was still alive, took his forces back to Terra and finally pushed back the traitor Primarchs and the forces of chaos after the Emperor was mortally wounded. At this point, the Emperor is severely incapacitated and comatose on the Golden Throne, using his psychic will to hold back Chaos and direct the Astronomicon, which is kind of like a psychic beacon that aids in navigating the dangerous but necessary warp travel. Gulliman therefore takes on the position of Lord Commander of the Imperium and starts to reclaim some of the world's lost to Chaos. During this time, he creates the Codex Astartes, which dictates principles of duty and honour among Space Marines, limits Space Marine Legions to just 1,000 Marines, known as Chapters. He also tasks the Tech Priests with developing the next generation of Space Marines, the Primaris Marines. Gilliman himself led missions hunting down and killing traitor sons of the Emperor, killing the traitor Primarch Alpharius of the Alpha Legion. However, when fighting the traitor Fulgrim of the Emperor's children, he was outmatched, as Fulgrim had been warped by Chaos into a Demon Prince, was super strong and managed to slash Gilliman's neck with a poison blade. At the point of death, Gilliman's body is recovered by the apothecaries and placed in the stasis field. For the next 10,000 years, Gilliman's body lies in the stasis field in a shrine on McCrack, during which time the planet itself sees attacks by Tyranids and Chaos Marines, the Black Legion. Right at the end of the 41st millennium, an alliance of an Eldari faction called the Inari, led by Ivarain, the emissary of a recently awakened god of the dead and the Adeptus Mechanicus with healing armor made by the Archmagos of Mars arrive on the crag to combine the resource and resuscitate Rebute Gilliman all while under attack from the Black Legion. Gilliman is successfully resuscitated and needs a counter attack against the Black Legion fighting them off. He then goes back to Terra to meet the Komitos Emperor who communes psychically to brief Gilliman openly on the dangers facing the Imperium now and discusses what can be done moving forwards. The conversation leaves Gilliman feeling conflicted and less like a loved son, more of a tool to be used. He is also shocked and dismayed at the state the Imperium has fallen to and disappointed with the rise of the blind worship of the Emperor as a god. After talking to the Emperor, Gilliman then becomes the Lord Commander of the Imperium again, and this time also the Imperial Regent. Shall we mention his space elf girlfriend? No. Okay, no. maybe not then. There are numerous books in the Black Library by Games Workshop if you want to uh, read up more on any of these events, find out perspectives maybe from Chaos Primarchs, uh, I'd highly recommend it if you like the story and want some, some more in-depth look at the lore. 
with regards to the Joy Toy figurine, it is faithful to the Warhammer model, showing Gilliman possibly in the 42nd millennium with his Sword of the Emperor, the healing Artisifer level Armor of Fate from the Adeptus Mechanicus and the Hand of Dominion, all of which are usable on the tabletop if you play tabletop. This figure feels nice and solid in the hand. It's got nice stiff joints. Uh, it's, it's flexible and allows you to get the pose you want. If you found this unboxing useful and you're looking at potentially getting the, the reissue of Rebooty Gilliman, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I don't have any other Primarchs from Joy Toy, but if you found this of interest, then please let me know in the comments and I'll consider doing other ones as well.